Hi everyone, this is Roslyn, and you may have noticed that I wasn't really around much last week. And there's a bit of a reason for that. Um, my schedule just turned out to be a lot busier uh, than I uh, than I had originally thought that it would be. This whole summer's kind of been like that so far. I'm kind of hoping that things are going to slow down just a little bit. We also had some storms blow in, so... Um, if you follow world news, you might have seen that um, in our part of the world, we've had some storming hurricanes and things, and uh, which is, it's humid now after all that rain. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so we, we lost power uh, quite a few times, a couple of times for um, three or four hours. So uh that, of course, also prevented me from getting content out here. So, uh, but, you know, something that I have learned in my life and something that I'm committing myself to doing starting uh, this week uh, is a lot of times when life gets away from us, when things get busy, when our schedules get packed, our first inclination very often is to try to shift our time with God around. So, um, you know, I I have so much to do. I'm just going to get right into work this morning and then going to spend time with God, you know, a little later in the day. And um, for probably most of you, like me, then it never actually really happens. But I have found that my days go so much better. And miraculously, I am able to accomplish everything that I need to do, even though it seemed completely impossible, uh, when I make a point to not just keep my time with the Lord in the morning, but really invest more time with Him in the morning. It reminds me of something, and I want to say that it was Martin Luther that said this, but please don't um, hold me to that. <clears throat> but uh, something along the lines of, I have so much to do today that I need to spend more time with God in the morning. And and it's almost like building a, a, a foundation, laying a foundation for a building. And the taller the building, the deeper the foundation. And so the more we have to do in a day, the more time we need to spend with the Lord to prepare our hearts to be able to do all of the things that we need to do. And so I just want to challenge you if you're finding that, you know, life is incredibly busy, your days are very, very full, and it's, you're finding hard, you're finding it hard to, to find all the time to do what you need to do. Um, try first, maybe getting up a little bit earlier, spending more time with the Lord in the morning, committing that to him, and you're going to find that you have greater wisdom to know how to fit everything in the way that it needs to go. So I just want to challenge you to do that. Um, so if you've gotten to the end of this video, uh, I just want to let you know one of the great things that you can do in your time with the Lord is memorizing and meditating on scripture because that takes the word of God that we've hidden in our hearts and it actually really burrows it down even deeper and it allows that word to really accomplish what God wants to accomplish with it in your heart. Um, and uh, so I just want to let you know on my blog, you'll find the link to my blog in my bio, um, or you can just go to uh, Rosalind Yukich, that's J U K I C dot com, and you're going to find packs for uh, all of Romans 6 and all of Romans 7 tomorrow, um, or actually today, that would be today. Today is Monday. You'll also find Romans chapter 8. And so I just want to offer that to you. Those are completely free. Just throw your email in the form that's at the bottom of the blog post and uh, you'll be able to download that onto your device print it out they come in little cards so you can print them out stick them in your pocket stick them in your purse um or or you can just leave it on the page and put it wherever it is that you're doing your daily devotions and take that word memorize it meditate on it if you need to know how to do biblical meditation also on my blog are several blog posts right there at the top of my blog it's what i've been writing about um is scriptural meditation biblical meditation 
um, which is thinking deeply, speaking the word of God to yourself. It is completely the opposite of what the medical community will tell you what meditation is. It's not emptying yourself. It is filling yourself. It is filling your heart with God's word. And so I just want to offer that to you. Um, let's just take a moment before I end this video and pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you so much for your presence. We thank you so much that in you, we have everything that we need for life and godliness. We thank you, Father God, that um, your ways are not our ways and your thoughts are not our thoughts. And so um, as we remind ourselves to not rely upon ourselves, rely upon our own thoughts, but to rely upon you, we know that our day will go so, so much better. We will have the wisdom that we need for our day. We will have the joy that we need in our day. We'll have the strength that we need for our day. We thank you so much for that. I pray that as we commit ourselves to investing our mornings with you, that we will find our spirits renewed, that we will find our hearts refreshed, that we will find that rest for our souls as you promised in your word. And so we thank you and we praise you for that ahead of time. And we commit ourselves now to taking that first part of our day, giving it to you, committing it to you. And we know that there will be great reward for that. And we thank you. We thank you for that in your precious name. Amen.